my beautiful planty people and how are you doing today? I am stressed out. And this is the cause of that stress. <laughs> Before we get into that, I would like to say hi, hello, welcome. Uh, for all of you who are new and here for the first time, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you found me. And for my gluttons for punishment who keep coming back for more, it is amazing to see you. Thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. Uh, to all of you, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, as I always say, your time is so precious and it is not lost on me that it is so amazing that you spend it with me and I want you to know that I really do appreciate that. Um, also, I will let you know, um, if you're not already, please go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. Here is my Instagram handle. Um, I do all kinds of updates over there and polls and just rando videos or whatever pops into my head, so it's always interesting. Um, <clears throat> And I'd love to have you over there uh, as well. If you're not already over there, then you can go over there. Anyways, so today, if you've been following along with um, my plant journey, you will know that I got this gorgeous baby uh, uh, the beginning of this year, late last year. Don't really recall when exactly it was. Um, but this was my number one wish list plant. <clears throat> and since I've got her, she, uh, so this leaf was the original leaf and then it also had this one, uh, that was the second leaf. And since then, as you can see, it is just thrown out green leaves. This is the, the new leaf that just came out that I was really holding on to hope would have been variegated, but alas, it was not meant to be. So that's been really stressful for me lately. Um, as you know, these plants are not cheap by any means. Now I will say that I'm really glad that I bought this last year and not this year. If I had bought it this year, I would have paid easily triple what I paid for it, if not more. Um, so I am really happy about that. However, having said that, it's still a large sum of money that I paid for a variegated plant. And um, as these things happen with variegation, um, it, it, it just, it isn't always guaranteed. So today I am going to attempt to cut this plant back to the variegation. So if you wanna stick around, watch me stress out about this thing, then um, you're sick and twisted, but you know, Feel free to come back and watch me struggle and maybe cry a little. Oh, you came back. You're twisted. Okay, so here's the situation. Let me try to get you in close here. So this is the variegated leaf. This is the first green leaf. My struggle is going to be, let me try to get you in close here. So variegated leaf, first green leaf. There is not a whole lot of space between here. So I really have to get it out of the pot and um, really take a good close up look of what I'm working with here. I have to be honest, in that I'm not overly hopeful that there's gonna be a whole lot of room for me to actually cut this. So this video just might be scrap. Who knows? But I need to try, I need to try, I need to do something because these are such gorgeous plants and this is the variegation that I was really looking for. I have a massive green bilitai um, back here somewhere and I definitely don't need two of them. I do love the plant, don't get me wrong, but I don't need two of everything. I really wanted a variegated one, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change camera angles here and I will get this out of the pot and we will take a close up look at what the, the stem looks like um, and try to figure out if there is a place that I can easily cut this without completely massacring this plant so let's just whew. let's just grow some lady parts and do it <laughs> okay 
let's do it. Okay, first thing I need to do, obviously, is to get her out of the pot. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm just kind of sticking this little, it's like a metal chopstick that I got with this little bonsai soil kit that I got. Uh, and I'm just loosening up the edges of the pot as we do. I haven't had her out of the pot since I put it in this pot, so I'm really not sure what the root system looks like. Um, but my soil mixture is really, really airy and chunky. And uh, so it shouldn't be an issue getting her out of there. But I do feel that there are quite a bit of roots down here in the bottom. There is a little bit of resistance, so I don't want to put, poke too hard. Let's go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and pop her out of here. Well, the roots look good. Okay. So, in order to see what we need to see, I've got to get a lot of this soil off. So, we're just going to go ahead and gently take all that off. Give her a little shaky roux. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where to cut this. Okay, let me show you what we're working with here. So, I'm going to zoom in a little. Okay, so this is the variegated leaf. You can see that it does have the variegation up the side here. This is the first green leaf, or sorry, right? You can't really see that from that side. Anyway, this is the variegated leaf. <laughs> no, this is the green leaf. Oh my gosh, so the, you can't even see it, doesn't matter. Anyway, so I don't, maybe you can get a better view on this side. Do you see the way they're situated here? So this is variegated leaf. This is the first green leaf. Do I cut it here? And hopefully I can use this root coming off here to feed the green part of this plant. I think that's probably gonna be my only option um, and I'm going to have to be extremely precise as to where I cut this. So I was going to use my pruners, but I feel like that might be um, not quite as accurate. So I think I may actually have to use a knife. Now I'm looking at, I don't even know if I have a sharp enough knife to do this and feel confident about it. Oh boy. Okay. I mean, we gotta do it. We just gotta do it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna cut it on an angle right here. Yeah, right here. Now, my other concern with only having, um, sorry, you can't even see that. Let me zoom out just a smidge. So my only other concern is that this leaf isn't doing the greatest. It doesn't seem to be spreading too, too much now, which is good. But if I cut it back so that this is the only leaf that's on here and then this leaf declines, uh, I mean, as long as it doesn't have root rot, it will still grow back. But I, you know, it's risky, it's risky. But you know, high risk, high reward. That's kind of what I'm running with at this point. So let me go ahead and um, Actually, I might use the clippers. I think they're the sharpest thing I have. <sighs> Guys, I am so nervous, so nervous. All right, I'm gonna get you in close and we're just gonna do this. Okay. So I want to cut. Oh boy. That's fun. 
Well, this is interesting. This is something I hadn't seen. So this must have come like this when whoever it was made this cut, they cut into this leaf. If you can see that little nick right there. So that might be why this leaf is declining a little bit. I don't know. Ugh, where do I cut it? I think I have to get uh, a knife. Okay, I'm gonna go get a knife and I will be right back. <laughs> okay, so I've got my marker here. I think I'm gonna try to cut like right across here on this side and then it will come up and through underneath here and up right here. I think that's the best bet with making as minimal damage as possible. <laughs> I'm sure there's some of you screaming into your TV right now. Uh, but I think that's my best option and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because if I don't just do it I'm gonna stand here talking about it and you guys will be like just do it already Nikki and I'll be like okay 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 Whew. let's angle you down <sighs> are we ready I'm not I can tell you I am not right at all ready one <laughs> This is terrible. Okay. Two and a half. Three. Oh, she's not easy to cut. Why couldn't you just be easy to cut? I would have felt way better about this. Okay, it's done. It's done, we did it. So, let me back you up here. I'm freaking out, okay variegated leaf there is the root system we have on her I had to basically cut this part of the stem right in half but she's got lots of roots I'm really hopeful um, I'm going to put her in a pot I need every positive planty vibe that you can send my way sent my way for this because I'm telling you like if I lose this plant and I know that it was something that I did I am going to be devastated but I think I, I'm really hopeful I haven't met a plant that uh, or an uncommon plant that I can't save yet so there is that one which leaves us with this which also does have roots, so that's great. So this is the green one. Now, there is a hair of variegation up this leaf, if you can see that. You see that line that goes up there? So, I mean, there is still a little bit of variegation in the plant. Oh, it's sticky. She's bleeding. Oh, God. Anyway, so I mean, it is possible that this plant could potentially, uh, in the future, put out another variegated leaf. Um, so we'll just keep an eye on both of them and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff to pot these both up and I will be right back with you. I might cry for a minute though and then and then come back. Let's see. Okay. Took a minute there just to breathe, you know. Anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the green one back in the pot that that came out of. And this guy I'm going to put in this little pot here. <laughs> I just like, I just, oh I forgot to stir up my soil. Okay.
Now I'm trying to leave this cut side uh, close to the top and more exposed so it's not underneath the soil getting a whole lot of moisture. And that will be fine for the plant. It will be completely okay with that. And uh, <laughs> I have had some stressful times during my plant journey, but I will tell you that that is probably the absolute most stressful thing that I have done as far as um, anything. Um, far more stressful than some of the plant mail that I've received um, or any of the propagations that I've done in the past. That was that was really difficult and I know that maybe it's not a big deal um, and some of you guys are like Nikki it's not that big of a deal it's a big deal to me because <laughs> this was like I said my number one wish list plant and um, you know if you follow me or have been for a while you know that this plant has been stressing me out I've been waiting for a second variegated leaf for quite some time and it just wasn't happening so there we go she is in a nice terracotta pot with some chunky soil mix. <laughs> so scared. Okay, I'm gonna get her watered in, get her in some nice bright light, and we're all just gonna say a little prayer. <laughs> um, anyways, guys. Thank you so much for following along and for watching this video. Um, I appreciate all of the support <laughs> that you've given me uh, in regards to this plant. I've gotten a lot of like, go Nikki, you can do it. We have hopes for variegation and you know whatnot. And I definitely do appreciate that. Um, like I said, it was, it's a plant that was um, definitely a financial investment. And so when I cut it, I trust me when I say the decision was not done lately I have thought about this for a long long time and the best way to go about it and this is what we came up with so I will definitely keep you guys updated um, probably more so um, or more often over on Instagram so be sure that you're following me over there so that you don't miss any updates let's hope they are all positive updates <laughs> and none like dun 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 you know anyway so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to me. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, so I would like all of you to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I'd love you all to bitty bits and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Please live.